In free switch, it is frequently necessary to piece together a smaller sound recordings to create longer ones. For example, when we want to create an IVR or interactive voice response. The free switch phrase macro system is a very powerful tool for piecing together these smaller sounds files and add a bit of logic to that. In this video, we will learn how to use phrase macro system in FreeSwitch. We will start by introducing phrase macro system syntax and we will learn it by exploring the default FreeSwitch phrase example. We will have two labs. In the first one, we will create a basic uh, phrase macro and in the second lab, we will extend the first example to learn how to work with the input parameters in the uh, phrase in the phrase macro in the free switch okay let's start by free switch macro system syntax phrase macros are defined in your free switch configuration directory slash lang slash en for example if you are installing the free switch in your debian then it will be in the in, in the etc free switch lang en uh, all the files that are included in the en.xml will be processed by free switch you can see uh, en.xml syntax here for example here i added one uh, extra folder omit that all the xml that are in the omit folder will be processed as well so if you want to add any extra folder or an extra file you can simply open this etc free switch lang en slash en.xml and add your paths or your file let's explore one of the famous phrase macros in free switch that is located in the demo folder the name of the file is demo-ivr.xml and it is in the actually your free switch configuration folder lang en demo this phrase macro pieces together some shorter prompts to be used in demo ivr in the free switch let's explore the options that we have in the or the syntax um, the first one is the phrase macro the macro name obviously is the name of the phrase macro that we will use later in the dial plan to call this phrase also as you can see we have another option pause and pause will be the number of the milliseconds to a sleep after playing each individual sound file of course this is an optional input parameter for phrase macro system for example uh, in this example we will have 100 milliseconds of silence before playing the next sound file input pattern the regular expression that we see in the input pattern is check against the input that is passed as an argument to the phrase. For example, here in our dial plan, uh, we called lab one phrase and we passed 1000 as input that will be checked against the input pattern. So if that expression or 1000 matches the phrase macro, will execute the actions contained in the match section. Else in the input pattern is not match, the phrase macro uh, will execute the actions contained in the no match section. So if we have uh, in the style plan, we passed 1000. If uh, it matches to this dial pattern, to this input pattern, it will go to the uh, match part. Here is a match. And if it is not matched this input pattern, it will run the uh, no match uh, pattern, uh, no match section that we, da we don't see in this example, but we will see it in uh, actually labs. Let's get into action by creating a phrase macro to read the number of messages that we pass as input. Here is the phrase macro that we will implement and test. Let's explore it first. We gave the phrase a name. I called it phrase lab1 and I set the pause to 750 milliseconds. 
In this lab, we will accept all inputs. So I use dot star as our input. If you don't know how regular expression works, I have a video of regular expression in FreeSwitch that you can find in the link in the video description. I use multiple actions here to execute a sleep app for 1000 milliseconds. Play a pre-recorded file uh, in the free switch and I use the say function uh, to pronounce the number that we will pass as phrase input to the phrase macro. So this say function will pronounce what we pass to the uh, phrase macro in the dial plan. And finally, I again use the play file, play file action to play a pre-recorded free switch message. Please pay attention that in the phrase macro, we are using the function keyword instead of the application keyword. After the phrase macro definition, we need to call it in the free switch dial plan. Here I defined a testing destination number and I answered the channel and I called the phrase macro with the application keyword of phrase and I passed the phrase macro name and input here is 1000 as data for this phrase macro and finally I hung up the call now let's test our phrase by calling the testing number uh, 5555 So let's give it a try. I'm using telephone soft phone here and I'm calling the testing number. You have 1, messages. Okay, great. It's playing. You have 1000 messages. Let's explore the logs as well in the FSCLI. Uh, so first the channel is answered. Then it will run the phrase and it will pass the phrase underline lab one this is our phrase name and uh, input uh, parameter as 1000 and uh, so it will go to the uh, phrase it will sleep for uh, 1000 milliseconds and then uh, it should play yes it will play the USR uh, voicemail you have so it will play you have and then it will say 1000 the input parameter that we have passed and uh, it will again play the file uh, so here it's played the 1000 and it will play the file messages so it will play you have 1000 messages and then it will go back to our dial plan and it will uh, hang up the call now let's extend our previous uh, example to learn more about input parameters and how they work in a way we want to learn decision making based on the input parameters here I uh, prepared an example or a lab uh, for learning this input parameter we want to create a phrase macro to read the number of messages and if the number of messages is more than 9999 phrase macro plays that mailbox is full please try the call again later so in the previous lab whatever we passed to that because the input pattern was actually a star dot or dot star whatever we passed that it played if you pass 1000 or 1 million it doesn't matter but here in this lab too we want to have a decision making we want to see if we are passing uh, for example, anything less than 9999, then it will play exactly uh, that value like the previous lab. But if we pass anything more than this value, then it will play a different message. Let's see how we can implement it. Here I created a, a macro, I named it um, phrase uh, lab2. I just uh, pass the pause parameter of 750 and look at the input pattern the input pattern in is a slash d uh, four it means that we can have uh, four digits that these four digits are from zero to nine if you don't know how the um, pattern uh, matching or how the reg regular expressions uh, is working you can refer to my videos uh, previous videos I will put the uh, link in the description so this will match any number that is less than 9999 
So if it is matched, it will uh, go to this section of match. It will run the actions that we have in the match section. And then this uh, part will run. Of course, this is like the previous example. But if it is not matched, then it will go to no match. It will go to no match section and it will execute uh, 1000 sleep and then it will play uh, mailbox is full and please try later or whatever message that we uh, play here again i'm emphasizing uh, pay attention we are using function here and not application uh, okay that's how the input pattern and decision making and match and no match works here uh, of course we need to uh, call this uh, macro phrase in our dial plan and for testing for example here i create an extension i just gave it a uh, sample extension number and then i answered the channel and i uh, call my phrase as data i passed my uh, phrase name it is phrase underline lap 2 so it's in a file and uh, it is in the folder that we have explored and then the name of the phrase is phrase lab 2 and then i pass this parameter i wanted to just pass something that is uh, more than 9999 and then it will hang up so let's try and see uh, what message it will play for us by right it should uh, play for us that the, uh, the mailbox is full plus please try again it will it should play this file let's see if it works so here I'm using the telephone cell phone to uh, dial the testing number. Okay, great. So it's playing the right message. Let's just see the sorry three dot to exit. Let's see the logs here as well. So when we called, it's actually called, uh, of course, the above is the applications, other applications that we have. Then it will call the phrase lab2 and it passed the, the uh, number. Then it will go to the phrase. It has slept for uh, 1000 milliseconds. And then it will play the VM mailbox is full because uh, what we pass to that, it goes to the no match. Uh, section and after that it is hang up yeah that's how phrase works in the uh, free switch it's very useful when you want to combine multiple uh, files especially play files when you want to play multiple files or multiple actions together you can put all of them in a phrase macro and especially it's very useful when you want to define IVRs that we will uh, use it to use this phrase in the IVR video as well. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please add to the comments in the YouTube. Thank you. Goodbye.